I'm here in Newport Beach and today we're gonna to be checking out three different houses at very different prices. And at the end, I'm gonna decide which one was the best value at its listed price. This is Michael Hahn, our real estate agent here in Orange County, and today he's gonna to be showing us some houses. So this house is a two bed, two bath, just over a thousand square feet, priced at only $700,000. We're in Costa Mesa right now in Orange County. Costa Mesa touches Newport Beach. We're only about 10 minutes away from the beach from here. Uh huh. And so we are in West Side Costa Mesa right now. Okay. These are currently townhomes, so you do share a wall, but what's incredible about this price point in this area is it's really rare to find a connected two car garage oh. to a residence of this price point. Let's go check it out. All right. And puppy. So this is a cute little yard. Yeah, what's unique to these townhomes is you have your own private gated yard here, right? So if you have a dog, if you have uh, guests come over, barbecue, whatever, then you do have your privacy. A lot yeah. of times these connected homes, you don't get private outdoor space like that. Pretty good deal. Got a cool little lemon tree over there. Little garden. Little garden and plenty of space for more furniture and barbecues. Nice. Yeah, so when you enter, you have these high vault ceilings, oh. double height ceilings. You have a working fireplace and you have a complete open and lay out here. So from living room to kitchen just flows as one big room. I love how high the ceilings are. It makes the place seem a lot more spacious than it actually is. Yeah, and so there are a lot of townhomes where if you go up to the next level where the other bedroom is, uh -huh. it's a pretty low ceiling. Oh. You'll see upstairs that this one is not. You oh. have true height ceilings, so it feels like it's actual primary suite. So this place looks pretty new. Like I noticed fresh paint and is this new flooring? Yeah, so actually my team has a special program where when we help sellers sell, we'll do any sort of upkeep needed that we think would help the price of the property be higher. All right, so I always have to take a look at the kitchen to see if it's on par. So it's a pretty dated kitchen. Granite counters. So the wood is still good. The cabinets are not falling off. The hinges are great. But what we did for my mom was when we resurfaced, we painted everything white. Yeah. Changed the hardware on it. Mm -hmm. And then the slab countertop was super easy. An entire slab only costs about $800, $900. Maybe about $5,000 would do this whole kitchen. Add in maybe another five for like better appliances. 10,000? At, at the most. I know 10,000 is a lot of money, but like think of the value that it'll bring up for your home. Like if this was updated, do you think you would have been able to get another like 50 grand? I think so. Maybe not 50, but probably about 30,000. So you have a main level bathroom here that could be commonly used for guests or for whoever's in the second bedroom. Standard size bedroom here, queen bed, nightstand on each side, closet. Could be an office, could be, honestly, because the way the stairs are laid out here, there's some consideration there if you want your kids to run upstairs, but then now you have their noise above you, or if you wanna go upstairs so that they can do more running around here, because under you is just the garage. Yeah. Let me show you the upstairs. Up here, it's a much bigger room. You have two closets, and it just being higher because we're in connected townhomes, you will get more natural light because we're up a floor here. Yeah, it's nice and bright. I like how you guys staged everything. It feels very luxurious and very pretty. Nice bathroom. I like the natural light over there. So I was just thinking, Michael, like this would be such a good entry level home at the price point. So how does someone go about financing or affording this? Like with 20% down, you need like 140,000 yeah. down? So having 20% down is actually a huge myth. You can buy a home with 3% down. Three? Three percent down. So not 140K, but for a $700,000 home, uh -huh. three percent is only 21,000. What? It'll take someone- No way. $21,000 down payment, we could get you this home. How come we don't all know that? A lot of people are scared of PMI. It's, it's essentially an insurance that you have to pay if you're under 20%. Now there are a lot of ways to actually avoid PMI. There's a lot of bank programs for first time home buyers where it's waived. So it's not such a scary thing. Are there other fees that hidden that we well, don't know about. <laughs> so granted, your monthly mortgage is gonna be much higher. Right. But if you think about it, that monthly mortgage payment is spread out over 30 years, okay. right? So let's say your monthly is actually even $1,000 more a month or something, or $12,000 a year that right. you were not ready to pay. That 12,000, if you stay for three years, it's 36,000 or even five years, mm -hmm. it's gonna be 60,000. Okay. That's still way less than $140,000 right. that you're giving up front. So if you do put down 3% and we do waive PMI, uh -huh. 
then there are a lot of tax benefits as well because it's your primary residence. Uh -huh. So a lot of that money on the interest, the higher mortgage payment, that comes back to you in taxes as well. So that makes it a little less scary, right you guys? Like I always thought that you'd have to save up 20% for a house and it took us forever to save up that amount. So we did like the whole traditional route. All right, cool. So with that in mind, let's go check out what's possible for your next home. Let's do it. <laughs> We're at 417 and a half Heliotrope Avenue in Corona Del Mar. Michael, why is it 417 and a half? In CDM, Corona Del Mar, a lot of these houses, it's pretty standard. You're either getting a single family home or on a lot of these lots, the houses are split into two. So there's a front house and a back house and any of the back house units have the half or B or something Got like it. that. So what's the specs on this house? This is a two bed, three bath, 1,306 square foot house, okay. all brand new, asking 2.895 wow. million. Interesting, okay. Let's go in and I'll show you the house. Okay. Here we are, welcome to the main living space. Oh. Wow, it's so fresh and new. Yep, everything's brand new. You get double height ceilings in the living area. Mm -hmm. And then it's an open living concept to the kitchen and dining. Okay. And also this outdoor area here. So it feels very much like the last townhome we looked at, except a lot more updated and in a better location. Yes, a much better location. <laughs> so this is the open loggia area right now. And so this is where the front house is connected, actually. I feel like this is a great setup because for paying that much, I would hate to share a wall. Yeah. <laughs> so they do all have shared walls when they're front back houses. Uh -huh. And the other thing is if you are able to enclose this and make it a third bedroom, mm -hmm. you still have outdoor space on the roof. Ooh. So there's private outdoor space. Again here, everything is brand new. So you have quartz countertops, all the appliances are Thermador. You have a Thermador oven, range, Thermador refrigerator, pull down freezer. You also have a Thermador dishwasher behind you. So very high end appliances. I like that there's like six burners here. And so laundry room. It's nice that there's a connected bathroom here. Actually, so why it's priced what it is more so is gonna be the location. Uh, so it's very highly desired to be south of PCH. Mm -hmm. And when you have a corner lot, because a lot of these houses are side by side, mm -hmm. having the corner lot allows one to not have a neighbor on one side. Oh like yeah. On one. Uh -huh. And then the other is you will end up getting more light exposure to the house because you don't have houses on both sides. Oh, that's so true. It is very bright in here, which I love. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of electronics on the wall. Whoa, there's an intercom. I just pressed up on an intercom. You press Hello? something. 911. <laughs> Let's check out upstairs. Very cozy. Yeah, so up here is considered the second bedroom. I've also seen people turn into office spaces or you know, yoga studios. Mm -hmm. You do have an ensuite back. And again, I love how bold and artistic the uh, developer and designer were. And then again, on all these top levels, you have access to your own private rooftop because we're close again to the beach south of PCH. You will see just straight down there is where the beach is. Corona Del Mar, specifically in the village, we call it the Flower Streets. Okay. So every street is named after a flower and it's in alphabetical order. And then what's great about the village too is because PCH runs right through it. Mm -hmm. That's where all the dining, the coffee shops, you know, all the cute yeah. little boutiques are there. All right, well, you have one last house to show us that's really special. We've got a big house on the water. On the water. And a a little bit more expensive than this house. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And finally, we're at 2156 East Oceanfront in Newport Beach. So this house is located right on the wedge, one of Newport Beach's hottest surfing spots. It has a beautiful beachfront view. It's priced at $15 million, five beds, five and a half baths, and has 4,212 square feet, which is huge for a beach house. And I wanna thank the listing agent, Tara McNabb and Michael Hahn for showing us around today. So what I love about this house actually is that even from the ground level you get views of the ocean. I like that the interior design is very minimal, very traditional. Yeah, so being on the ocean front, we do have to be pretty material specific mm -hmm. because the ocean air and the salt and the sand, 
does end up doing a lot of wear and tear on the house. Yeah, I noticed the floors are all tiles, like limestones. So we do have an industrial wolf range here, double oven with the pus water oh, spout. This is my dream is to have like a water filler, a hot filler. The Sub-Zero refrigerator. Ooh. So it's not too loud or stainless steel or colored, but it does blend in with the paneling and the same hardware. Even the dishwasher is blended in with the paneling. So they renovated and inserted a dry bar here with a half bath on the ground level. What's really cool about this house also is you have a bedroom with an ensuite bath on the ground level. I'll take you upstairs to the second level where the primary bedroom is. So if you have any fights or disputes about bathrooms in the primary, there are two full bathrooms Ooh. here. So you've got a bathroom, shower, privacy, toilet, closet in there. A whole nother bathroom on this side. Whoa! Giant closet in there. And again, speaking of the ocean views, we have this deep soaking jacuzzi tub where you have views of the ocean here. Wow, I could confirm that statement. I really like how everything is thoughtfully designed with the ocean in mind. That's like the center focal point. Like the house is nice, but that's the prize right there. And then connected to the primary bedroom, you have almost like your own private sitting living room with a fireplace. And this far, there's a fireplace also downstairs in the main living area. I like even though this is on the other side of the house, not like ocean facing, it's still very bright and airy. So this feels like going on like a New York City rooftop. So here's your private roof deck. What's really cool is most of the houses on the peninsula, you're either choosing between an ocean view or a bay view. Here, since we're at the very end of the peninsula, you're getting both. And right there is the Surfline camera that gives the world feed for the wedge. It comes with the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for showing us this property, Michael. I will be putting in my offer today. Sounds good. <laughs> and as all your LA friends start to see the light of Orange County, tell them to come on down to the beach. Yes. So you just showed me three very different homes. In this economy, how do you think it's affected real estate? And are people even still buying homes like $15 million or even $3 million? They are. So there's a lot of scare tactics out there. A lot of people are fearful of the six, seven, eight percent interest yeah. rates, but that's just headline. Like there are a lot of ways to get your interest rates to a 4% still. Really? Right? So when people get educated about buying with three and a half percent down, buying at a 4% or 5% interest rate, then everything looks great when you can offer without having a 20-way bid anymore. The biggest issue right now for home buyers, at least my friends are in the market to buy, like the interest rates are so high and that's kind of what's keeping them from jumping the gun. They'll say, I'll wait till things go down a little bit more. Yeah. You know? Okay. So if are you... things going to go down a little bit more? They are and they're okay. they already actually have since November of last year, if you look at it, right? So the thing to do right now actually is with the options, buy the house that you want. Okay still be able to negotiate or work a lower interest rate and then it's still going to continue to go down so within the next year or two mm -hmm. be able to refinance that yeah if people just wait for the interest rates to come down then they're essentially waiting for competition and they're waiting for their second best or third best house got it so i have a question for you What's of up? the three houses that we saw which one did you like best for the price of course you can't compare a 15.5 to a under yeah. a million dollar house i might have to say the 15 million dollar huh. one okay has the best value even though it's wildly <laughs> expensive only because I felt like the Corona Del Mar one you showed uh -huh. me, you don't get that much bang for your buck. It's such a small space. 1,300 square for feet. For yeah. so expensive. <laughs> and it's almost a steal because I looked at the surrounding houses and two houses down, there's a house that's $30 million. Right. So like if they, if I could put in a little bit of money to renovate it and update it, I can bring that 15 up to like 20, 25. <laughs> Yes and no. I mean, that $36 million listing is a double lot. Oh. Well, thank you, Michael, for showing us all the homes and giving us your expertise. Yeah, thank you for having me. If you guys have any real estate needs or questions in the LA or OC area, feel free to contact Michael. So be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more home tours with Michael. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.